All Shakespeare's sonnets are extraordinary and seem to speak to us across 400 years, almost as if the ink is still wet on the page. The first 17 of his sonnets are all written apparently to exhort a young man to get married so that he can ensure his own immortality or posterity. They are extraordinary because everything is apt, nothing is superfluous. 14 lines of rhythm, rhyme, assonance, alliteration, everything is apt, nothing is superfluous. In Sonnet 12, it's almost as if an older man or woman is leaning across the table and exhorting a young man to get on with it because everything fades. You can almost hear the clock ticking from the very first line. When I do count the clock that tells the time and see the brave day sunk in hideous night, when I behold the violet past prime and sable curls all silvered o'er with white, when lofty trees I see barren of leaves which erst from heat did canopy the herd and summer's green all girded up in sheaves, borne on the bier with white and bristly beard. Then of thy beauty do I question make, that thou among the wastes of time must go, since sweets and beauties do themselves forsake, and die as fast as they see others grow, and nothing gainst time's scythe can make defence, save breed, to brave him when he takes thee hence.